Here is a shot I made in Blender. And it's pretty cool, isn't it? No, it's not. It sucks. What it needs is some fog, and creating fog inside of Blender is really easy. Although it does take a long time to render, which I hate. So what I'm going to do first is go into the shading tab. From there, I'm going to add a cube. So shift A, mesh, add a cube. And I'm just going to hit S to scale this cube up really big. I will then hit G to move it and Y to lock it to the Y axis and just push it back a bit. I'm going to add a new material to the cube and then delete the principled BSDF and shift A to add a principled volume shader and connect that to the volume output. From there, I'm going to make the density really small. Let's make it something like 0.003. Okay, let's make it a bit bigger. Let's go 0.03. Nice. I will also give it some emission strength, something small as well. Let's go with 0.003 again. Why not? Hey, that actually looks kind of cool. I'm also going to make the emission color a little bit of a blue, just to make it cinematic. It looks pretty cool, but I want some nice and thick fog. So let's make it something like 0.09. Alright, that's pretty cool. Let's now increase the emission strength a little bit. Even cooler. Also, I realize the guy isn't even in the fog, so let's hit G, then Y again to move it into the correct position. Oh yeah, now that looks cool. So now I'm going to decrease the density again to, let's just say, 0 0.06 and increase the emission strength a bit more to 0 0.008. So as you can see, it really is just a process of trial and error. Um, just keep messing around with the density and emission strength until you get something that you like. So I think I've got a pretty good amount of fog here. And another way to increase the, the coolness, if you will, is to give it more depth. And you can increase the depth by adding extra characters in the background or terrain and buildings. So yeah, that's how you create fog in Blender. It really is quite easy, but it does consume your entire computer. And this one render will probably take 300 years to render. So I'll see you when it's done.